Hey man, who the f is? Shuri. My name is Martina Shuri Edwards, and I am from Gastonia, but my family resided in Kings Mountain. So my project name is Love Me Not. And when I first did it, it was more of, you know, little love bits from, you know, me to you or whoever. And then, you know, it kind of, as I started to make this album, it just really fit the um, storyline, the purpose of it, and yeah. The recording process was, it was fun. Um, compared to the first time that I really started to make music, it was different, you know, shout out to Nitty. Um, we were in his room making music, trying to do it in different things with Tanner at PTP Records. Um, it was a lot of me by myself. Um, so it was me being able to be vulnerable, me being able to process songs that I was making. Um, each time that I would make a new song, Tanner would be like, hey, I learned something new. Hey, I got a new book. and I want to try something new with your vocals. Um, and I genuinely appreciate Tanner and Austin for letting me have a space to be vulnerable in and be myself in. This project means a lot more to me compared to my other projects. Um, it's a lot more vulnerable. It's a lot more um, me being open. Me being, it's me being honest with myself. A lot of these are talks that I've had with myself um, on this new album. Um, my older albums was me really kind of just tapping into music. People have always, Marcy, you should make a song, you should make an album. And I really kind of just tried it, but I think this album is me really leaning more into it and me really sitting in my sound more. So I definitely hold this album a lot higher compared to my EPs. Three things that bring me full happiness. Ice cream. You give me cookout book shake, you can give me ice cream cone from Chick-fil-A and I will be content. Concerts. Um, being able to just be free, hear the music from your favorite artist, really just does something to me. Um, I I can't explain it. Concerts, <laughs> concerts make me feel really good. They make me very happy. Uh, I would have to say random days, like where you kind of just hit your friends up and you're kind of just like, hey, you want to kick it, and then like y'all just get into the most fun, the most random stuff that you can do in a day. I think those genuinely make me happy because you don't know when those days come, so you appreciate them more. The best concert I have ever been to, there's two best concerts I've been to. So I, for my first concert ever, I went to 2014 Hills Drive, J. Cole at the PNC in Charlotte. Beautiful, I cried. I cried, that was, that was a great concert. Um, and then the second best concert I've been to is recently at the Tyler the Creator concert. He is a great performer. Um, he really knows how to put on a show. His stage performance is there. His sets that he creates to go along with the storyline of his albums are beautiful. He just really takes his time and he really performs. So I appreciated that because I don't think I've ever been to a concert where I like, I'm not on my phone the whole time. Like, yeah, I got my pictures, yeah, I got my videos, but like, I really took the time to just sit there and enjoy it. Like, I was dancing, I was vibing, I was singing. I just felt very carefree and very, you know, a part of that moment that I wish that was something that I could do again. I would go to another time to create a concert. Three, um, Control by SZA. That album, front to back, front to back, front to back. I'm gonna say uh, The Emancipation of Mimi. Six year and seven year old me was living. 
that was like my first real introduction of, to me trying to sing and to imitate somebody. And that album was just front to back, front to back. Low key, I feel like I could dive deeper, but I'm gonna say Summer Walker's debut album, um, Over. That, I still play that album to this day. I still catch myself going back to that album. That was a really great album for, I guess, what women our age now sometimes go through. She really portrayed that very well. So yeah, I had to say those. those things. It's not making the music. Making the music is probably the easy part. Um, honestly, I think it's the album rollout. <laughs> Having to, if you do it right. You know, if you have fast the album rollout, then it's really not gonna be nothing to you know you do to do. But when you are a perfectionist like me, and you want things to come out right, and you want people to see the vision that you are trying to create with this album, the storyline that you are trying to create with this album, it is very annoying um, because it's especially for me because I didn't really do all this for my first two EPs. So having to do a photo shoot, having to do. Um, create content to roll out um having to do little interviews like this or um just all the little technical stuff that you have to do so that it's just people see your face more and not just oh she dropped the album so i think it's the rollout that is i wouldn't say it's the worst part but it's just annoying it can be tedious i personally i think it would be dope to have a feature from ari lennox I love her. Um, I think she is a great person. <laughs> um, and I feel like we kind of match each other's vibe as far as like a feature. Well, I would like to make more music. I would like to be more consecutive in making music um, and really just vibing and see where it goes. I am open to anything when it comes to Sheree. So, let's see where it goes. It's your girl Sheree. Thank you for watching Zebo TV and we're out. Zebo TV, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah.